Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with little Chippy today. Hi, sweet baby. We are doing a Dollar Tree haul today. I don't have a tripod again, so um, this may be a little bit shaky, I apologize. I have a few different hauls coming up for you guys and a DIY and some things like that. It's just been really hard to find the time to make videos so bear with me I do have content coming um, October has been kind of slow for me making videos though but anyways let's jump into this Dollar Tree haul um, I picked up a lot of Christmas items again I think I might need to like chill out on the Christmas items at Dollar Tree but the first one that I picked up are or is this set of bows these are silver glitter bows they lay kind of flat, but they are 3 So these will be nice for Christmas presents. Um, these are really cute to put on an envelope, though. Um, I put one on a gift, and then the other one that I use of the gold one, I put on an, on an envelope, and it just, like, made the card that I gave someone just a little bit more special. And since they're flat, that's why they would be good on an envelope. So anyways, I got those. I also picked up six of these poinsettia, or poinsettia, however you say that poinsettia, poinsettia, whatever. Clips. I don't really love um, flowers on Christmas trees, but um, I think it will add a nice texture just to put a few of them on there. So I got six of these. I'm not going to show all six, but I actually really wanted the magnolia flowers, but they were already gone. And that just goes to show that you really can't wait on these Christmas items, even though we're not even to Halloween yet. Like some things are already gone. So I got six of these. I haven't been watching too many videos, so I'm not sure if people have already shown these, but this is my first time seeing them, and I haven't seen them in any of the hauls that I've watched yet. I picked up this um, plaque. It's like a snowflake plaque. It, it is on wood, but it's like a chip wood, or I don't know what, what kind of, what the specific name for this kind of wood is. It's not actually planked. This is just a painted line, but I'll show you the texture up close. You can see, hopefully you can see that it, it really is wood. So they had a snowflake and they also had a Christmas tree. And I wasn't sure which one I wanted, so I bought both. <laughs> um, and I thought that these would just be really cute to make like kind of a rustic, um, I don't know, like just a rustic sort of Christmassy sign. A very cool item that I found and I'm not sure if People have been hauling these or not. I've seen these for about, I've seen them for over a week now, but I didn't pick them up the last time I saw them just because I wasn't there for something like this. And this is a mirrored frame. It is two and a half by three and a half inches. You can see me in the, in the glass there. So it is real glass. Unfortunately though, it has that cheap Dollar Tree um, frame backing, but you would never tell from the front that this is a Dollar Tree purchase. I'm actually shocked that they had this. Um, in the, This does come in a, a plastic um, package and it was hanging like where they hang the magnets and things like that. It wasn't necessarily with the frame. So if you're looking for this, um, at one store it was hanging with magnets. At another store it was hanging in the frame section, but they'll be hanging up off of a plastic little package not actually leaned up against the other frames so um, if you get up close though you couldn't see in the package but I can see now that it is you know you can tell us this is better than Dollar Tree quality but here are the Dollar Tree attributes of it <laughs> like those two aren't touching it's a little bit oh my god you guys can see my double chin I'm gonna pretend like I don't have one um you can see the chipping here so but from afar this looks really really nice I mean even when you get up close you can barely notice those things so I was thinking I'm not going to do this because I could only find one this time um, these would make amazing ornaments if you just like put a little hanger here and put like your family photo or a picture of your dog something like that that would be really cute they are kind of heavy but if you have a sturdy tree you could probably get away with it so or if you have a wedding coming up, you could put your table numbers in here. You could put your single digit table numbers this way, your double digit table numbers this way, and it would be a really classy way, classy and cheap way 
to um, make your table numbers. I think they might have had these um, last year or other years. I could be wrong though. I found these little disco ball ornaments and um, these are, I think these are just on a foam and they have the little glass pieces. Uh, so I actually went to Big Lots today too and they had a larger pack of these. Um, I don't really remember how many disco balls were in it, but it was $6. So this is a pretty good deal. I think you could save a couple bucks if you just bought several packages um, from Dollar Tree. So I might not actually put these on my tree. I might use these as like tie them onto like the strings of a gift bag or something. I'm not quite sure. I really didn't need to pick this up. This was more of like one of those items that you see and you're like, oh, I have to have it, but you have no clue what you're gonna do with it. I got sucked in. Next, I found these large bell, these are just bells, silver bells. Um, they had them in red and in gold. And I don't know that I've seen bells this large from Dollar Tree before. Um, typically they have like a medium size and a really tiny size. So I was really happy to see these large ones. I do wanna spray paint these copper and do something with them. I love copper bells. I don't know, you guys know I love copper and rose gold. So I just need to find a really good copper or rose gold spray paint. Typically when I um, like buy copper or rose gold, it turns out brassy or more like gold. So if anybody can recommend a true copper or a true rose gold spray paint, please let me know in the comments below. I also picked up one more of these ornament ball markers. They're just a, a pen that writes on plastic and glass. And um, I showed one of these, or I showed two of these in a previous video. And a lot of you commented that you've heard that these worked. Even some of you said you've used them and they've worked. So I got another one because I do have a DIY that I'm going to do for Halloween. I'm gonna to try to make that video um, after this one that I'm going to be using these and I might need, I don't know how much ink is in here so I might need more than one. So that's why I picked up another one. And then the last item that I picked up are just, I picked up five sets of these clear plastic ornaments. You guys have seen these before. They're the Crafter Square brand. You get two of them for a dollar. They are plastic. You can fill them up if you want, paint them, do whatever you want with them. So um, the reason why I got these, I, I thought that I wouldn't be getting any more of these this year, um, but I think I'm going to be doing three tree decorating videos on my channel. So not in this order, but I'm going to be doing my Dollar Tree Christmas tree challenge with the $20 budget. I'm going to leave the information for that in the description box below. Anyone is welcome to join. It's just a budget of $20, Dollar Tree items, decorate your Christmas tree or an area in your home and make a video of it. The upload date is December 3rd and like I said, the information will be in the description box below. But when I mentioned that to you guys, a lot of you requested that I do that in a rose gold theme and there's not a lot of rose gold stuff at Dollar Tree. Um, there's barely any at all. So in order to do a rose gold theme, I have to get a little bit crafty. And I didn't want to complicate my challenge. So I'm going to do the challenge. I'm going to do a rose gold theme Dollar Tree Christmas tree separate from that. And then third will be when I put my regular ornaments that I've been collecting throughout the years on my tree. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be decorating my tree three times. I only have one tree. But and my video cut off, but I was saying I only have one tree. I am going to decorate it three times though so you guys can see all these options. And that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos and I will see you back in the next one. Bye!